YouTube, Muchismo Eugene. Another video from Exit Strategy. Welcome. I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, when the narcissist is out of your life, out of your home, out of your residence, out of the space in which you guys share. It is comforting to know that you can wake up and leave things laying around. You can trust that your safety, your vital information, your personal possessions, your sanity, all these things will remain intact because I know you guys remember uh, living with a narcissist when you couldn't find certain things, they were, you were misplacing things, you were having instances out and about when people would look at you funny and you would wonder why and these people sometimes were friends of yours or acquaintances and it would be like you would almost imagine wow what did I do what somebody say something bad about me to them or tell them something that was untrue this is a far-fetched situation in your mind where you say this I know we've said it but we dismiss it you just didn't know how right you were and now that you're out of that situation, you can wake up and rest assured. Even though the loneliness, the isolation on a constant basis is a plus for you because you're rebuilding your mental, physical, intellectual, spiritual, you name it. You're rebuilding what has been so uh, insistently broken down to no avail even though you may look that way in appearance you'll get there you'll begin to feel better than you probably ever felt in your life because when you're awakened you don't see things the same obviously but it goes beyond just the narcissist you don't see the world the same anymore and that is a liberating comforting uh, breath of fresh air to me and I hope so to you there are things that we miss Affection, romance, having someone to look over and say, good morning to you, how are you? How did everything go last night? Did you sleep okay? Uh, what can I do for you? Is there anything you need me to do for you? That is a beautiful uh, relationship or even friendship. And some of you have had friendships. A lot of you here, we talk about relationship, but some of you have had friendships with narcissists. And uh, I empathize with you equally because it's just like an intimate relationship I want to believe because if you have a friend there is nothing you won't do for your friend and to have uh, it discovered that these people manipulated you lied on you disparaged you gaslight, gaslit you uh, triangulated you were all ways creating chaos around you and you worked hard to try to maintain both your civility and the people around you and it was a losing battle now that you can focus on only you without the distractions of the narcissist that is a very comforting thing waking up having a cup of coffee although there's no one to sit there and chop it up with in the morning uh, unless you have children like I do when they are here which they're not uh, over the weekend it gives me a little bit of downtime you have that afforded to you. You can speak directly to your children, the ones that uh, you care the most about. And you can have wholesome conversation without the, the narcissist interrupting you like some little kid coming in. Can you do this? Can you do that? To which we in Palace, we were very subservient to these people. God rewarded us for that because when you are humble enough to do and be subservient to the people you love even though they hate you you end up on top every single time maybe you can't recognize being on top right now but just to be out of that narcissistic relationship entanglement you are on top because you were at the bottom when you were with them they were standing on your neck
he was using excessive force on you. Not just force, excessive force. They were dialing it up. Their whole agenda was to destroy you. So that is the case with uh, not being with the narcissist. You don't have any of your vital information compromised. You don't have to wonder uh, how someone knows certain things or why is someone looking at you a certain way. You're going to get these looks anyway, even out of the narcissistic relationship because you're an empath, you're a chosen one. You draw that kind of attention. The bad, the bad energy around you, it finds you. It finds you. But you're aware now. You're aware now. So that's half the battle won right there. Just wanted to come in and remind you guys that those are the blessings that we all should, uh, we should really just, uh, let's capture that. Let's look at those little small blessings that otherwise we wouldn't uh, see because we're looking at too much at what we don't have. So just not having the narcissist in your life today, that's a blessing all in its own. So, that being the case, guys, as always, bless.